Woods, we stopped at the big pink lake, I can't remember the name of it, Bum something or other, um, right near the town of Lockheel. <coughs> stopped at the, uh, camped up in the uh, truck stop there, overlooking the lake. I was a bit knackered by the time we actually got there, so um, arrived early. I was like, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just stay here tonight. Went down on the lake, flew the drone. Uh, Maggie came with me. Uh, she thought it was a hoot. I was uh, there was parts of it that were a little bit uh, sludgy, to say the least. So uh, I was trying to guide Maggie in the right direction. We were going to go down a path along the edge until we got to some secure ground. But Maggie decided no. I'm going to jump onto the lake here and I <laughs> went straight in uh, up to her knees. Dogs have knees, I guess they do. Halfway up her legs uh, and she shit herself. And I'm like, oh man, I hope it's not like quicksand and I'm going to have to go in after her or something. Uh, she sort of shit herself a little bit and uh, made her way back to the edge and then followed me very very closely behind me um, treading where I was treading we got onto the lake and we had so much fun she just thought it was it in a bit uh, I'll insert some photos here in a second uh, Margaret uh, came out of there wearing uh, very black socks uh, a whole lot of fun flew the drone very nice uh, we camped up, had dinner, watched the sunset. Uh, the other side of the road from the lake is uh, a whole row of windmills. So we, uh, we had a look at those as well. Uh, woke up this morning, the sunrise over the lake. Uh, I think I've got an iPhone photo or something here I'll throw in. Um, pretty cool. So today we're, we're going around Adelaide. Um, and we are going to end up hopefully this morning at Handorf because I promised my wife some of the world's greatest bubbles from a winery called Summerled. Um, closest thing you'll get to champagne uh, without being champagne because champagne is from the champagne region and obviously we're not there. So anywho, uh, we're going to truck on. Uh, taking the back road, so we're going to go through Gawler and and stuff. Um, still a beautiful part of the world, but uh, we'll just keep trucking through here. Thought I'd get smart. Thought to myself, self, I don't want to drive through the city. And that last stretch coming into Adelaide. I just hate it. I don't know why. And I went, no, I'm going to go around. I'll go around. That would be a good idea. We'll go through Gawler. And then we'll, uh, we'll schlep it through the back way. What a great idea, Andy. Awesome idea. Yeah, you're in a four-ton van uh, going through the twisties and up and down hills. And the road is terrible. I mean, the main roads aren't perfect. How good is that? Old, decrepit, bloody place out there. The roads aren't perfect. They're not. The main roads. But they're the ones they look after. So the back way, they're not looking after that. Very bumpy. It's fine if you've got a brand new modern car with normal suspension not a big ass bus I'm glad we upgraded the suspension on the bus but still not a good time anyway made it just went really slowly there's a lot of orchards and you know apple orchards and stuff uh, lots of twisties been great on the motorbikes, lots of motorbikes. That's uh, a good time. Made it into Harndorf. Mission 
successful. My wife will be very happy with me. I got us a case of summer lead sparkling. Again, if you're ever in South Australia, you need to go to Harndorf and you need to go to summer lead because it's the good times. I was speaking with a lady that uh, we met five years ago when we came through last uh, and uh, told her the story and that uh, Terry, last time she'd come through, she, she bought a case as well and she was on her way over with her dad. And uh, she said, well, have you got room on the bus for a couple of glasses? And gave us a couple of uh, little champagne flutes. So that was nice. And then I went, oh, I'll go to the pub and get me a big ass German Kransky sausage hot dog. And I couldn't find a park and bloody Maggie the Wonder Dog doesn't like being left alone. So I started driving out of town and on the way out I saw a hot dog shop. I went, ooh, hot dog. It's just what I want. So I made a U-turn, went back. Hot dog shop was closed. Sons of bitches. But the ice cream shop next door sold hot dogs. Yeah, that was, uh, that's, the ice cream shop is not the place to buy a hot dog as we've since discovered. Instant regret. I bit into that and I'm like, ah, oh. I got through three quarters of it because I gotta gotta eat. A guy has gotta eat. And then uh, I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm not finishing this. And I've been tasting it ever since. It's not a good time. Washed it down with a bit of cherry ripe. Anyway, we're the other side of Adelaide now. We're on the road. Tonight we'll go for maybe uh, just over the border. Get into border town, find somewhere to park, catch some Z's, chill out, see what's around. Apparently there's a bit of a weir out there somewhere. I'll uh, hunt that down. Yep. Last night we camped here. How good's that tree? Great little spot. Watched the sun go down last night, it was beautiful. Maggie the Wonder Dog is uh, in full effect, sniffing things and finding things on the ground. What are you doing? Oi. What you doing? What you got? You don't know. Hey, what are you eating? She's found something. Anyway, we had a beautiful sunset. Hopefully there'll be some photos in here. Um, we're going to hit the road. We're, well, where are we? We are at a little weir, which is just, uh, just inside the Victorian border. Um, it's uh, probably a uh, service town, I think. It's Serviston. Serviston. So we're a little spot just next to Serviston. A little weir. Uh, beautiful little spot. Peaceful. Um, quiet. Watched the sunset last night. It was amazing. Uh, we're going to hit the road today. We're going to head to my mum's place in Creswick. Uh, stop in for lunch. And then we'll be heading home. Almost the end. Almost, Maggie, what do you reckon? Hmm, not so sure. We definitely know we're back in Victoria. Number one, it's cold. Huh. And number two, you see these poles? They're different here. These ones are just big trees, basically. Make sure they're straight and they make power poles out of them. In South Australia, they have these things called Stobie poles. I think Stobie was the name of the company, but uh, they're basically two bits of steel upright filled with concrete 
and uh, they last a long time. It costs a lot of money to make, and unfortunately, if you hit one in a car, they, they're not very forgiving. A lot of deaths. Uh, these ones, they're made of wood. Sure, they're still bloody rock hard, but they give. Fun fact. On a good day, you can see Melbourne from here. that good day. It's a little bit unclear. We're almost home. About 20 k's west of Stall had a little hiccup with the van. Uh, the box that sits on the back of the van, which is on a hinge, carries some tools and ramps and stuff like that. <clears throat> well, the catch, the latch, catch, latch, uh, that secures it uh, finally decided to give way. One too many bumps and I heard this clunking noise and I didn't know whether it was suspension or what the hell was going on and so I immediately pulled over and saw the whole the whole box was hanging on a hinge. Uh, a little bit of MacGyveration fixed it up and limped it into stall to stall my to 10, bought a couple of ratchet straps and uh, secured that puppy down. It's a bit scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I uh, got in and saw my mum, because it's my birthday in a couple of days and uh, I needed a squeeze from my mum. So that was good and now I reckon we're about a, an hour from home. Maggie is, uh, she's still sleeping because that's what she does. Anyway, here we go. Well, I guess that's it. We made it. That's a good thing. 10 minutes from home. We'll be back in Melbourne. Good times. That was a trip, huh? Perth to Melbourne on the Nullarbor. Cheers.